Insomnia is a common sleep disorder that can make it hard to fall asleep, hard to stay asleep, or cause you to wake up too early and not be able to get back to sleep. You may still feel tired when you wake up. Insomnia can sap not only your energy level and mood but also your health, work performance and quality of life. How much sleep is enough varies from person to person, but most adults need 7-8 to eight hours a night. At some point, many adults experience short-term, acute, insomnia, which lasts for days or weeks. It's usually the result of stress or a traumatic event. But some people have long-term chronic insomnia that lasts for a month or more. Insomnia may be the primary problem, or it may be associated with other medical conditions or medications. You don't have to put up with sleepless nights. Simple changes in your daily habits can often help. Symptoms, insomnia symptoms may include, difficulty falling asleep at night, waking up during the night, waking up too early, not feeling well rested after a night's sleep, daytime tiredness or sleepiness, irritability, depression or anxiety, difficulty paying attention, focusing on tasks or remembering, increased errors or accidents, ongoing worries about sleep. Causes, insomnia may be the primary problem or it may be associated with other conditions. Chronic insomnia is usually a result of stress, life events or habits that disrupt sleep. Treating the underlying cause can resolve the insomnia, but sometimes it can last for years. Common causes of chronic insomnia include, stress. Concerns about work, school, health, finances or family can keep your mind active at night, making it difficult to sleep. Stressful life events or trauma, such as the death or illness of a loved one, divorce, or a job loss, also may lead to insomnia. Poor sleep habits. Poor sleep habits include an irregular bedtime schedule, naps, stimulating activities before bed, an uncomfortable sleep environment, and using your bed for work, eating or watching TV. Computers, TVs, video games, smartphones or other screens just before bed can interfere with your sleep cycle. Eating too much late in the evening. Having a light snack before bedtime is okay but eating too much may cause you to feel physically uncomfortable while lying down. Many people also experience heartburn, a backflow of acid and food from the stomach into the esophagus after eating, which may keep you awake. Insomnia treatment. If it's hard for you to do everyday activities because you're tired, your doctor may prescribe sleeping pills for a short time. Medicines that work quickly but briefly can help you avoid problems like drowsiness the next day. Don't use over-the-counter sleeping pills for insomnia. They might have side effects, and they tend to work less well over time. For chronic insomnia, you'll need treatment for the conditions or health problems that are keeping you awake. Your doctor might also suggest behavioral therapy. This can help you change the things you do that make insomnia worse and learn what you can do to promote sleep. Insomnia prevention, good sleep habits, also called sleep hygiene, can help you beat insomnia. Here are some tips, go to sleep at the same time each night, and get up at the same time each morning. Try not to take naps during the day, because they may make you less sleepy at night. Don't use phones or ebooks before bed. Their light can make it harder to fall asleep. Avoid caffeine, nicotine, and alcohol late in the day. Caffeine and nicotine are stimulants and can keep you from falling asleep. Alcohol can make you wake up in the middle of the night and hurt your sleep quality. Get regular exercise. Try not to work out close to bedtime, because it may make it hard to fall asleep. Experts suggest exercising at least 3-4 to four hours before bed. Don't eat a heavy meal late in the day. But a light snack before bedtime may help you sleep. Make your bedroom comfortable. Dark, quiet, and not too warm or too cold. If light is a problem, use a sleeping mask. To cover up sounds, try earplugs, a fan, or a white noise machine. Follow a routine to relax before bed. Read a book, listen to music, or take a bath. Don't use your bed for anything other than sleep and sex. If you can't fall asleep and aren't drowsy, get up and do something calming, like reading until you feel sleepy. If you tend to lie awake and worry about things, make a to-do list before you go to bed. This may help you put your concerns aside for the night. 